And now, a word from John Cameron Swayze. Ladies and gentlemen, a good evening to you. When scientists learned to split the atom, they found that it released something. It was energy in the form of heat. But it wasn't much from just one atom, so they set up a chain reaction like this. They found that it made the greatest physical force mankind has ever developed. And they called it atomic fission. Now, less than 10 years ago, the Atomic Energy Commission turned to the nation's industry to harness the power of the atom and make it work for people in peacetime. Engineers, scientists, and technicians got together at Westinghouse to tackle the toughest job in technical history. And they succeeded. They produced usable atomic energy, the kind that drove the submarine Nautilus over 60,000 miles without refueling. And that's only the beginning of a bright new world. Later this year, many of the lights of Pittsburgh will be lit with still another Westinghouse-built reactor, the Shipping Port Power Plant, a joint venture with Duquesne Light Company and the Atomic Energy Commission. And if you wonder what putting atomic energy to work means to you, here's the man who can answer your question. He's the man who set up the Atomic Power Division of Westinghouse, Mr. Charles Weaver, Vice President for Atomic Power. Thank you, John. Today, atomic power isn't just a hope. It's as much a fact as coal and oil. Just as coal and oil started new industrial progress, atomic energy marks the beginning of a new era with new comforts. New power to get where you want to go and do what you want to do. Putting this new atomic force to useful work is a source of great satisfaction to us at Westinghouse. Yes, in atomic power too, Westinghouse is first with the future.